on the radar. Yo, my guy, Highland Star is here with me. What's up, bro? What's happening, my boy? What's happening? Yo, man, I'm so excited to have you here. You got a, well, you got a really spicy new single out right now. Uh, <laughs> Bitch You A Ho out now. Uh, <laughs> super spicy single, a little different than what you put out in the past. Uh, we're right. going to talk about that. But before we get to that, give the people a little history about yourself, how you got into music, you know, uh, being born in Oakland and moving to Atlanta, all that. So uh, originally, uh, I'm from Oklahoma, everybody knows, but I've, I've been in Atlanta since I was about 15. I'm 22 now. Uh, I've been doing music professionally since I was about uh, 18 years old. You know what I'm saying? I started doing music back when I was like 14, you know, doing cover videos on YouTube and, you know, just kind of just building a buzz um, just from doing that. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of how I started. And then I finally put my, my first original record out once I got signed with Wolfpack. And yo, I saw, so you, you've done like, uh, I've seen a few of the videos. You've done like a bunch of different cover songs from like Usher to Chris Brown to Trey songs, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. When, you know, when those would like go viral or they would get big buzzes, like, did you, did you, did, did you ever get noticed by any of them? I know Usher, and we're going to talk about the Usher stuff in a minute, but did Chris Brown or Trey songs, you know, ever catch wind of your covers? Um, no, nah, I mean, I mean they, I'm, I'm pretty sure they've seen them. But nobody, like, they, they never really reposted them or nothing like that. But you got to think about it, you know. Um, I mean, I, I, I kind of feel the same way. When people cover my songs, you know what I'm saying? Like, I might like them if I see them, you know what I'm saying? But you got to think about it, you know, like, Chris Brown's probably, you know what I'm saying, probably got a million people singing his songs. And Trey Song's probably got a million people singing their songs. So, you know, I mean, I, 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 I got acknowledged by other people, but just not Chris and Trey, you know. And, but you did get acknowledged by Usher because you were you were deemed the winner of the climax challenge when Usher was doing that. What was that? What was that moment like for you as someone? Because you know Usher is like Usher is like one of the blueprints. You feel me? So like, exactly. what, was that, what was that like for you when you were able to get acknowledged by Usher for uh, for the climax challenge? That that shit definitely made me realize like, damn, like, damn, like, I I, I got it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I always knew that I had it, but it's like, bro, like when Usher, like listen to my voice and say, yo, you feel like it's dope. You know what I'm saying? It was like, damn, like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, wow. It was, it was, it was, it was shocking to me. It was real shocking. Like, I remember when I went on the story and seen him listening to it, I'm like, oh shit, that's my voice. Like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I, I had an excited moment, but they're right there just, you know, those type of signs, um, really is like a sign from God. Like you were going in the right direction. You know what I'm saying? So just, so that was just a sign that never stopped. Yo, I, I love that. I love that for you. And so, you know, obviously last year was a huge year for you, despite being a global pandemic. You earned right. yourself a deal with, uh, with, you, with Wolfpack and UMG. And tell me about this. Cause you know, before the call, I, I, I was talking to you a little mm -hmm. bit about how I saw like Adrian, Adrian Broner had, had some hand in this, in this situation. What's the situation you're in right now? Explain to me and explain to me the Adrian Broner connection. So um, I was actually in Linux Mall, man, and I was just singing. Uh, I, I was trying to find some people to sing to because I was just like, man, I don't got no deal. You know, I don't got no money. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, I want to find some people that's just willing to listen to my voice. And then Linux Mall, you never know who you're going to run into. So <laughs> yeah, I end up uh, going into Linux Mall, man. I was just walking through, just looking, looking. You know what I'm saying? And then I seen Adrian Broner. I was with my friend. And I was like, bro, that's Adrian Broner, bro. Like, I need to go sing to him, like, just to kind of see if he, got, if he can kind of help me and shit. So I literally walked over to him. I'm like, hey, Adrian, bro, like, can I sing for you? With a song on the spot, you know what I'm saying? Adrian was like, yo, you fire as fuck, but I don't do music. But the person that he was with, his name is Rico, and he's my manager now. Oh, the person wow. that he was with is really, t like, like, tapped in in the industry. He knows a lot of people, like, a lot of people. So what happened was Rico introduced me. It, it happened with, like, Rico, Rico watched me grow my fan base for about a year before he even, like, even wanted to like even give me a situation, but he watched me grow my fan base for you. I kept I kept in contact with him. He introduced me to Gooch, Group Home. Shout out Google Group Home. He introduced me to Group, which is my main manager now. And Gooch took me to QC. And whenever I went to QC, I met the CEO of Wolfpack at QC. And then I played records for him, song for him. And he was like, "Yo, I love you. I want to sign you. Like, I love your talent. I want to sign you ASAP." And I was signed in less than like two weeks. That is that might be one of the craziest signing stories I think anybody's ever told me. Because <laughs> it's just <laughs> it's so it's not it's random. It's just like you saw Adrian Broner in the mall and you sang and he was like, "Yo, I don't do music, but my man's right here." And then like you met the fucking I didn't know the CEO of QC was involved in this somehow. That's crazy. 
So, so QC is family. We all family. You know what I'm saying? It's like okay. it's like young money, cash money. You know what I'm saying? We all, we all, we all family. That's yo. That's amazing. So from then, like, did, when you walked into that mall that day, did you expect that? Like, obviously you didn't expect it, but like, thinking looking back on it, like when you walked into that mall that day, and, and like you know that you stepped through those doors, your life was gonna change forever. Looking back on it now, like, like, and, and you know, you mentioned you were broke at the time and you didn't have any money, like. Ha- looking back on, on how far you've come on this journey, like how, how do you feel in, in, in 2021 and in, in being in this position now? And I just feel like the work has just begun. You feel me? Like, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I'm in a better position. I'm glad that my life has changed, but my nigga, like this shit just started. The work just started. Like, you know what I'm saying? My first song is charting. You know what I'm saying? I'm already charting, you know, but I feel like, the more work I put in mm. and the more dedication I put in is when you're going to really start to see the results. You know what I'm saying? I'm just at the beginning. In my eyes, I'm at the beginning. Right. To- I-, I mean, totally. Like, I saw – so you dropped Fool last year, and that was kind of like your first, like, real big joint uh, mm-hmm. with them. And it- on YouTube, it's at over 500,000 views. You know what I'm saying? You even got a bunch of other jo- – uh, other- like full like record playlist on there that got like a couple thousand views. When it comes to that, you know, why why that for your first record? You know, honestly, man, I wanted to just make a real record, like a real record with real substance. You know what I'm saying? When I made full, I made full because I knew that it was women going through crazy shit like you know domestic violence and because I seen my mama get abused. You feel me? R.I.P. to my mom. She passed away. But I seen my mom get abused. I seen they get talked too crazy. And I really just wanted to make a record for the ladies on that one. And I even love the video. Even the video is like, it, it really shows that. And I, I kind of love how, how this record was like even inspired by your mom. Because it, it shows that you're taking her on this journey with you. Even it's your first joint, you know what I'm saying? It's your first joint with the label. So it's like you right. kind of taking her on this on this journey with you. And you kind of like, you know, remembering her and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. My, my mom was the closest thing to me, man. She still is. You know, you know she, she passed away like. You feel me? Like, my mom was the closest thing to me, so, you know, I always, you know, keep her her voice in the back of my head. I'm sure she's extremely proud of where you are now, and I wanted to move, so, with that being the first single, and and obviously you have this new joint out now, and I kind of saw it on TikTok, too, because I was like, I saw a bunch of people was making TikToks to the sound. Did the TikTok come before the song, or did the song come before the TikTok for uh, Bitch You As A Ho? So, that... So, so the bitch was a whole joint that that came way back from Vine. Oh wow! Like I did that shit when I was like 15 years old. I did not know that. Like, That's crazy. I, <laughs> I was literally just having fun, bro. Like I had a girlfriend. She ended up fucking the dude that I knew. You know what I'm saying? And I just said, "Bitch, you was a hoe. Why you? Fi- <laughs> I just want to know why you fucked the bro. You know what I'm saying? Like this. I, I was I was really feeling that shit at the time. Like damn, bro. Like. Like, I got to make this bitch hear me. Like, and that shit went fucking stupid nuts viral on uh, Vine, Facebook, everything. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you like, let me make over. it a record. Right. No, no. That's what I'm saying. So it traveled, it traveled over from, um, from, t- from Vine to TikTok. And when it traveled to TikTok, everybody started doing it. I'm like, man, I need to make this motherfucker a song. The label was like, hell yeah, let's do it. Like, let's have fun. You know what I'm saying? And I think that that shows a lot about you as an as like an artist and as a social media personality because I don't think a lot of people could really take something that they did from Vine and then bring it into you know especially because Vine was like you know what six years ago five six seven years ago man I don't a think long ass like, time ago long ass time I don't think that there's a lot of people out there who can take something from Vine and then translate it to 2021 and like this TikTok era. So for that, I got to even commend you on because that's a crazy, <laughs> that's kind of crazy that you, and then you turned into a record too. And it's like, Hell yeah, Hell and yeah. I'm sure that there are people out there who might not know that the, that the meme of the record exists, but they hear the song itself, which is kind of dope. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Exactly. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people know that a lot of people know that song. I didn't even realize how many people knew it until I sung it in the club one day and everybody just sung it along with me. I'm like, Damn, I made this shit five years ago. <laughs> and it's still and it's still go. But you know what? That's a thing now. Cause like if you look at someone like like St. John, who made uh the Roses record two years ago, two, three years ago now, and then last summer is when the record blew up on TikTok. 
And then like right. the remix with Future came out, and it was like, oh, I did the he he probably did that song. He probably made that song like three years ago. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And then, like now, it's, and now it's kind of like it's all over. So I think that that's like the same type of situation that this record could have because I feel like it's catchy, it's funny, and a lot of people could could uh I could see a lot of people on TikTok kind of like gravitating towards it as like a funny sound to make like a meme to. Exactly. Exactly. Right now, I think it's at like thirty thousand views. I mean, I mean, thirty thousand people did did the video. That's yo, that's awesome. So with with that being said, like your last project was in 2018. It was your dear R and B project, right? You know, you're still young, growing as an artist. What's next for you? I know you got some singles coming up. Um, obviously, since you're with Wolfpack now, I'm sure that there's an album on the way. Tell me what you got planned. So definitely, man, we're gonna put out another single, um, rounds, um, and that's coming out within like the next month. So if you're watching this, make sure you stay tuned and go check that out. Um, but um. So we're dropping rounds, then I'm dropping my first feature. I, I ain't never done a feature. After rounds, that's when my first feature's coming out. Who's I can't tell y'all who it is. I can't tell y'all who it is just yet. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm keeping that in the bag. Is keeping it Kissy Lee? Uh-uh, no, 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 no. I'm just talking throwing, about I, just, like, I was just throwing it out there because I, I'm obviously I've seen y'all together. No, 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 for sure, me, me and Kissy Lee real. Like, we really, we really close, like, I, I fuck with her. But I'm saying, like, major feature, like, Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Is it yeah. safe to say he's on he's on he's on a similar label as you or on that that, that <laughs> circle in that in that family? I can't, even, I can't I can't even let it out the bag. It's 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 it's, it's a surprise. It's a change your life type of feature, isn't it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh I'm ex- yeah. I'm excited for that. We got to do this again once once that once that feature comes out because I I want all the juice on 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 what you. <laughs> but when it comes to your album like are you kind of like what's what do you what do you what vibes do you want to do for your project you know what i'm saying like what you know honestly man honestly or, man i'm a i'm a i'm an entertainer bro so like with my album i want people to 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 you know have a fun vibe with it you know also have a lover vibe with it you know what i'm saying like also have like you know just like you know you know like like just 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 a, a lot of charisma you know what i'm saying like yeah. i want i want people to i want people whenever they listen to my album i want motherfucker to be like man i fuck with him like i want people to get that real shit from my album too you know what i'm saying like not 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 always been the funny guy or not always been the um the, the the lover boy but also being that real nigga that came from the trenches you know what i'm saying like right. i i got a, i got a lot of different layers in this album i got a lot of different feelings and emotions in this album you want to put a little pain behind it is what you is what you're basically saying passion like a little more passion and pain exactly all that shit and also i want people to be able to dance i want people to be able to really enjoy themselves you know what i'm saying right not always about the sad shit not always about the happy not you know what i'm saying like i I want a roller coaster of emotions right and we had so we at the beginning of 2021 right so I, i want to do something with you by the end of 2021 what are what are three things that you want to accomplish by the end of 2021? What are like the three main things? I mean, I know you got the big feature, so that could be one of them, but what are three mm-hmm. main things that you want to accomplish as an artist in your career by the end of this year? So definitely headlining my own tour. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And um, also just having the number one song in the world on the radio, like in the world. I need the number one record in the world by the end of 2021. Hey, yo, I love this and I and, and I'm so excited for you, man. I love the I love the vision. I love the story of how you got signed. I think that you got a bright future ahead of you. And like you said, yo, this is only the, the beginning of your journey. So I think that uh I think that there's a lot of amazing more things to come from you and, and, and I'm looking forward to it all. I appreciate it, bro, for sure. Let the people know where they can follow you at. Anything else that you want to plug in, anything else that they need to know. Now is the time to do it. You can go follow me. Every everybody, y'all can go follow me on any social media. I have a star H Y L A N S T A R R. And when I come to your city, I'm gonna shut that motherfucker down. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? The real way. Once we get you up here in New York, man, we gonna have you. We gonna we gonna shut that shit down. I got you, my boy. For sure, for sure. Yo, I appreciate you again, Tyler Star on the radar, baby. <laughs>